Hey YouTube, this is uh Nohan and today we're going to talk about safety around the helicopter. Stay tuned. So we're talk about safety around an helicopter in the wilderness medicine. Well, a lot of places, especially in the States, um, a lot of rescue will be done by helicopter. Uh, this one is a specially set up helicopter for medical um, transport. Uh, we do a little bit of search and rescue, but very minimal. Where there's other service, they're almost only dedicated to search and rescue. So we'll talk in general, but obviously I'll pick up a little bit more uh, experience from the helicopter that I work with. Um, first of all, I would like to thank my uh, employer, Stars, which is a little company here in Calgary, and I'll put the link down on my YouTube uh, on on the channels downstairs. But uh, basically, they allow me to film around and use the helicopter to show you um, what to do. So we'll do a quick look, uh, just interior, just so you, can, you guys can see what my office looks like when I work as a flight nurse. And so basically this is the interior and basically this is usually where I see. And um, this is where we transport patient. We can transport another patient around here and we have like all kind of monitor. Basically this is like a small, um, this is like a little emergency ICU in itself, intensive care. But uh, that was just a little bit quick look inside. Um, as well as uh, the helicopter himself can be used separately than the medical component. So basically we can take off that stretcher out and now basically we can transport for example um, um, people in different difficult environment uh, to get in so for example dogs if there would be an avalanche uh, rescue that could have been done or um, uh, a full search and rescue team because it, uh, the place where they need to go it's a little bit harder to get and it would take like six hours to walk but maybe it'll take us like 45 minutes in the helicopter uh, so that's a lot of the advantage of the helicopter is because this little baby can land and I'll show you a little bit the platform that we land this stuff on uh, with a pretty much minimal uh, space we can land almost this thing anywhere uh, so basically this is the interior and a little bit the advantage of using a helicopter especially in the wilderness medicine um, setting uh, you may have to land one and I'll put a video links at the, at, at the bottom where uh, that's the video training that we do for people obviously again it's oriented towards air helicopters but there's a lot of component there pretty much uh, similar for all of them. Um, so let's get out and I'll show you now the view of the pilot and why is it important that when you approach an helicopter you approach it from a certain angle. Okay so this is the cockpit of the front. Uh, we fly with two pilots over here and the reason I'm here is just because I'm going to show you that when you approach an helicopter it's always at 90 degree angle and we'll go from the front and I'll show you what I mean. But basically if you think that, and we have two pilots, so there's two seats, but a lot of the service um, wilderness setting will use one pilot, and mostly where I am right now, so on the right side. Um, and basically, if you look, you're limited by the view that you have. Uh, so I'm limited by the view that I have over here, and limited by the view over here. So if you approach by the back, it will be very hard for me to see. As you can see, the back is right there, but I couldn't see it. So always approach an helicopter from an 80, 90 degree angle and I'll show you from the outside. So we're now from the front of the helicopter and I'll show you what I mean by an 90 angle. So basically this is the nose of the helicopter where the two pilots would be, so right over there. So if you have only one pilot, most likely we'll be over here. So as you can see over here and we'll walk around, over here is where the pilot could still see me coming. So basically if I approach, and now I'm a 
90, 90 angle, so this is the front, and basically over here would be about 90 angle. The pilot could still see me. If I'm over here, really difficult for him, almost impossible for him to see me. So never approach a helicopter outside the 90 degree angle. Very important or else uh, the pilot could miss. And the reason why it's so important is because of those little babies right over there. Uh, this is a helicopter is made for um, where we cut what we call a load from the back. So basically when you put a patient we can load it from the back over here. But so those um, rotor are very high. But uh, a lot of helicopters, those rotors would be a little bit lower and you could literally get injured. As well as when you approach, you always have to consider how high this is from the floor. So for example, if I would have like a mountains on this side, and you can imagine, so imagine that I have a mountain over here. So imagine now, if you have a mountain here and you're coming down the mountain, you could get hit right over there. So it's not so much the height of this, but it's more the, the height of the ground to those things. So if you cut the ground, imagine my hands here like being the terrain, and I go there, and I can literally have my chip, uh, uh, head chop off. Um, and those things, how they work, they don't just turn. They as well kind of rotate like this. So they have, a, um, so that's how they keep, they almost like look like birds but really quickly birds. So they go like this and as well as turn around like that. Um, and so the pilots over there, if you're about to approach, they can change the, uh, the speed and the height of those things depending on how they want to rotate and that's how they um, direct their, uh, the helicopter. So uh, very important to always approach and always have the signal for the pilot. So for example, if I would want to approach, I would be over here, make a fist sign, and if they give me the okay, then I would approach. So I always have the approval of the pilot before you approach, especially, especially if there's one. The reason we use two pilots also is, again, because we load a patient through the back over here. Um, and basically, the second pilot stays over here. It's called a safety pilot. It's basically what he does is stand over here and he prevents us, even us, from losing track of where we are because we're so engaged by the patient. Um, and the reason for this is because of this little baby. So this is the other danger, especially to go in the back. And here right now, it's about raised, if you can see. Um, so it goes about to almost almost my knee over here and had this distance to my knee over here and basically now you have about an idea where that would hit so this one is on the ground literally it hits my head and this is rotates really quickly obviously right so you can have your head chops and that's why you want you never want to approach from the back here even if a small helicopter um, this one is set up to approach from the back we always approach when we have a safety pilot right over here and as well as people that uh, so for example if we go and grab people always wait to get her uh, the approval of the staff uh, of the helicopter and stuff um, so now let's get back into the helicopter uh, to talk a little bit more about if something goes wrong.